What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Dev, man. We back in the trap. We back with a little laid-back, kick-back, chill type shit. I will watch this on my spare time, but I feel like, hey, I need to worry, too. So, hey, we're going to have a convo with DJ Academics about the Megan and Tory situation. He got some little info, you know. DJ Academics, the source. here, the new BET. So, we're going to check it out, bro. See what this damn case is on, just to see what's going on. The Meg versus, versus Story that, that exclusively premieres on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter and YouTube. It's going to be better than the first, people. I'm telling y'all. Okay, now, if you guys were interested in Meg going live, basically saying Tori shot me, then, of course, Tori getting the gag order, getting blackballed by the whole industry. Everybody think that For Tori did all that type of stuff. And Meg also trying to... Nigga, everybody turned their back on Tori, nigga, when they, when they found out motherfucker Tori shot me. Nigga, old ass... Uh, damn, let me, let me, let me, nigga. nigga, all the old head rappers was on them. The female best friends he had turned on him. Hey, nigga, y'all don't even know what the fuck happened. That's why America is fucked up, nigga. You heard one side of the story. It was like, fuck that nigga. Tori ain't saying shit. Tori like, we'll see you in court. They be like, oh, we'll, we'll see you in court. Y'all niggas took one side and said, fuck him. Y'all don't know what the fuck happened. I laughed about this shit. I was like, oh, y'all, yeah, that's Harlem Nights. Niggas shot the pinky toe off. Y'all ain't, y'all laughed at that, laugh at this shit. Be her, be her best behavior to play victim, but she's still twerking in the club 13 hours after allegedly getting shot. If you thought that season was crazy, okay, you gotta check out season two. And season two looks like he's gonna be going down in a courtroom. Season two. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the <laughs> trial just started, or actually ended actually for Tory Lanez because he will be going to trial January 13th. But pre trial happened, which basically was a trial within a trial to determine if this case is fit enough to go to trial. Hopefully that'll go over your head. So let's get to Anyway, basically we found out some additional details that may sway the jury or the trial when it starts. Sorry, let me give you guys some of the main things that the prosecutor is going to try to bury Tory. Okay? Now, somebody gave a statement. We don't know if it's Meg, the friend, the bodyguard, definitely not Tory. They're saying that there was other eyewitnesses, but somebody gave a statement to say right before the gun. And that statement, motherfucker, did not was not the same as Megas, nigga. I'm gonna let him tell you. It went off, and by the way, it's confirmed a gun went off. Right before the gun went off, Tory said to Meg, by the way, they were all drunk, dance, be dance, okay? <laughs> Now, it would automatically insinuate that Tory may have fired the shot, and that's what the prosecutor said, yo, we're going to bring this guy to trial. Damn, told the dance, dance, and he shot at her feet. Makes sense, don't it? Now, Tory's defense attorneys came back to say, well, let's think about the evidence y'all got against Tory. Y'all claim there, uh, first of all, Meg saying that Tory shot her, her back is turned. Okay, so how could she be reliable? Second of all, we know that the gun went off, but the same eyewitness who claimed they saw this shit go down claimed when when it was questioned about the muzzle flashing, if you know when a gun shoots, there's going to be a flash from where the bullet's coming out. They claim that that was closer to where Meg's friend Kelsey was than closer to Tory. So how the hell the... Oh, somebody in trouble. <laughs> Bullet could be fired from somewhere else instead of from where Tori was at. Okay? By the way, let me tell you this. They're low-key hinting that the shooter ain't... And by the way, listen. This It makes sense why Tori's keeping quiet. I'm not going to listen. Real talk. It makes sense why Tori's keeping quiet. And his lawyers eloquently paint this without, like, quote, quote, like, you know what I mean, stitching. They're basically saying, Shorty, you ain't get shot, number one. Number two, if you didn't get shot, Tori didn't shoot you. And number three, the person who shot you was your own best friend. Ooh, sucking, sucking, <laughs> Season two looking kind of twinky in these streets. Ooh, shit. Fifty Shit, you might need another BMF episode to fuck with this one. <laughs> Tory's lawyer made the case in court 
based on what a witness said, that the muzzle flash came from uh, came from near uh, Meg's best friend rather than from where Tori was. So basically, Tori ain't fired the gun. Okay. Now this is if this evidence is true and it stands up in, in, in an actual trial. But that's what Tori's nigga Tori had to be breaking both dance off with the lumber. Bow, bow, bow. Nigga for for the for her to suit that best friend. Nigga, you shot your home girl, nigga. <laughs> Tori must have been singing in that bitch here. Bow, bow, bow. Whatever da 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 da. Bow. I'm going to hell. But y'all niggas dragged my nigga Tori and y'all didn't even know what the fuck happened, bro. That's why I'd be like, bro, don't even talk to your best friend. Stop. Like, when y'all niggas gossip and shit, I'd be like, fuck is y'all gossiping for? Oh, you heard about so and so? You shit. Hey, nigga, you only heard one side, nigga. You gotta get both sides, nigga. If she tell you, he tell you, then they come together, you got both stories, cool. But don't gossip. Like, oh, right, you heard about so and so and so? Yeah. Nigga, you heard one side, nigga. Shut the fuck up and let the whole story come. And guess what? I didn't say shit. I laughed about it, said the all of my shit. And guess what? This shit. Motherfucker, Tory, motherfucker, just sitting, watching the fight, like, eating this popcorn shit. The fuck? Lawyer is saying. Also, a detective, which, by the way, very sloppy detective work this whole case. Very sloppy. A detective that worked the case. The same detectives that supposedly couldn't figure out initially if Meg was shot, but later then interviewed Meg and trying to figure out, like, after the fact about the, the shoot the center. The detective goes to the hospital, right, that Meg was admitted to because she needed immediate medical attention. She was bleeding and limping. When she went there, she claimed she lied to the goddamn, like, you know, uh, hospital people, the doctor people to say, Yo, I didn't get shot. I stepped on glass. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Bitch, I want a hundred mil. I'm suing. What is it? The frame in my character, though. <laughs> Bitch, every time hot girl play on, I want 75 cents, ho. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? And there, and, and she's saying, saying no. because now, now she switched, she switched her story, story to say, <coughs> yo, I did, I did get, get shot. shot. She's, she's saying, saying they pulled out bullet fragments from her feet. The detective goes to the hospital and they can't retrieve Where they the at? No. Now, I don't know what the, the doctor... Where they at? No. <laughs> what a bullet fragment. This bitch is avocadabra out of here. Where the fuck the bullet fragment is at? We gonna might edge this video out now, but I, right. Whoever's in the government office and the president of the United States, guess what? Y'all know how y'all gave the mothers and the the, the the families with kids like $300 a month? Y'all need to give dude, every dude in America like $400 a month. Why? For dealing with females. Just putting up with our wives, our girlfriends, and baby mamas. Just dealing with them. You can look at it as like a, a therapist bill. Because y'all motherfuckers crazy. I don't care, emotional, crazy. What is it, baby boy? Unstable creatures. I'm sorry if I got female friends. Y'all know what y'all in y'all move. Y'all know y'all going bonkers. And guess what? When y'all go bonkers and take the shit to social media, guess who everybody believe? Yeah. A nigga take a selfie one hour after the bitch uh put a, put a whole paragraph out. You low stum dirty bastard. Bitch, what? What you call me there for? I heard about what you did to so and so. Like, bitch. Hey, bitch, tripping, bro. You gonna do... <laughs> bitch, Megan says she got shot. Y'all turned y'all back on that nigga Tory. You think a nigga really that saying, he gonna make me have to say it? Gonna sue the motherfucker? Come on, bro. Doctors are gonna testify. Because if the doctors testify, we did remove bullet fragments, but they don't have the bullet fragments. What happens? Now, that's so unusual because if. A person, a person is admitted, admitted to the, the hospital, hospital for a gunshot wound because that could be as a result of a crime. The doctor should not only alert the police, but they have to secure and safely take out shit that could be evidence to be later used in a case. Who the hell just throws it away? Fishy. Now, 
go back, back to what Max said. said. And, and this, this is why this is, this is goddamn, goddamn like, like the Freemasons. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but, uh, hell no. Nah. One was I got shot. Hey, no bullets. No bullet fragments. Uh oh. Said Cotton was gonna be all over the place. Remember, Remember Meg initially said she stepped on glass. glass. Well, they're going, going with what she initially said. And glass allegedly, said. Well, not allegedly, well, not allegedly, Tori's lawyer said, well, I don't, I don't know if y'all knew, but, but there was, was a fight in the car before even guns, guns were drawn. Who was fighting? Meg and her friend. Meg, uh, I can't believe you was fucking my nigga. But, <laughs> uh, no. We want 400 a month this one with females every month. That's our therapist bill. Give us $400 a month. Oh, my God. For drama and personal trauma. PTSD from women. Fuck, <laughs> nah. The bitches fight. Allegedly kicked the window. And, and that, that window, window might have almost broke or at least shattered. And that might be why her feet were cut. Maybe that's why initially her thought process was to tell the cops. Hey, that motherfucker was on the news like this. <laughs> you get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. Nigga, free my nigga Tor. Even though he ain't free already. That she stepped on glass. Why? Because she kicked out of glass after beefing with her friend in the car. Fight over it. This is all over the place. This is season two, January 13th. We're gonna see what happens. Megan Stallion has came out and she is not happy and she's not pleased with how people are reporting the whole situation. She literally basically said, yo, she got shot and people are focusing on stuff that pretty much doesn't matter. Okay. I'm gonna be like, okay, this, I'm a, we gonna end it off here. My, this is my whole thing. Okay. You say you got shot. Okay. I feel like you didn't get shot. From my point of view, motherfuckers who getting shot ain't dancing around the next fucking day or weeks later. That that shit sore. That, that motherfucker foot sore, bro. Ain't no way you can get in a car accident, nigga, and walk off the same day. The next, the, same, the next day you wake up, your body gonna be stiff as fuck. So you tell me you get shot. You can twerk on the motherfucker on the WAP video. Nigga, full spirit. Then, motherfucker, they just said it wasn't no bullets at the hospital. For when the feds come, boom, boom, where the bullet fragments at? What a, what, what a little, what a little, little piece of four, five caliber, nine piece, twenty two caliber. What are the little pieces at? What the fragments at? Y'all lost it. So there's no proof that he, motherfucker got shot. Now y'all saying it's a full fucking female fight in the back. And that's why I say niggas stop gossiping. Nigga, females stop gossiping. Dudes stop talking. Whatever else y'all want to be called. Stop gossiping. All you heard about so and so when we that you don't heard one side of the story, bro. You didn't hear Tory's side, the girl in the back side, the security guard. Y'all nigga heard one side. Nigga shot me on live. Bitch, you look pretty fine. You ain't got cash. You ain't got a bandage on that bitch. You ain't got a band-aid on that bitch. You ain't even got a paper towel with the bitch. Y'all know how y'all cut y'all shit. Like, oh, shit. You get a tissue? Got a tissue? No. All right, grab me a paper towel. Hey, right, bitch, you ain't got a paper towel wrapped on your foot. You already heard this. Tori can live your best life. My nigga Tori spending a lot, thousands on lawyers, getting called picky toe shooter. My nigga getting dragged through the black ball. Niggas ain't want to do features with him no more. Taking him off feature, saying he ain't shit. Nigga, like, what? Man, come on. I'm mad for the nigga, and I ain't even know the nigga. I don't even know Tori, and I'm mad for Tori. My foot done dragged my name through the mud for what? Niggas. Tori, you know damn well you should be breaking both. Should be breaking both their damn backs. You know the, that shit was gonna come eventually. You knew that shit. You ain't got the nerve to drive in the sand, cause them up. Rule number one with nigga. Never drive more than one drunk female home. Now.
Drive yours home. You with your girl, she drunk. You got enough trouble with that one. Two female drunk in a car? That's uh, no. Bitch got caught an Uber. Come call your mama. Come call your granny. Come pick you up. Two of them in a car drunk? Man, you just asking for trouble, my nigga. Then you breaking both they backs? You, 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 you there broke both they backs. Then you expect them to ride in a car drunk. And not expect nothing to come out. No bitch gonna be like, man, I just wanna go home to the bed. Like, ain't no bitch gonna roll on you. You know when they get drunk, they get crazy. Bro, they be trying to dig it through the got got 3000 where they got their hitting in their system. So, you thought that was gonna play out good, Tor. Now, if you didn't, I'm sorry. But, like, comment, subscribe. This is my opinion on the situation. I feel like y'all nigga dragged his name through the mud and y'all don't even know what the hell happened, bro. I just told y'all, government, we need to start a petition. Everybody just get make a petition to the government that we need an extra four hundred a month dealing with females. We gotta deal with their periods, the fucking after the baby, the postpartum, the them going through the the I can't fit these jeans type shit or the do I look like y'all know what we go through, the baby mamas, the cougar, y'all know what we go through. We need that extra four hundred a month, you know. Just leave a like if you go sign up for the petition. <laughs>